In this video we're going to have a lot of satisfying cracks as we're putting together a snap together Millennium Falcon. The original model for this you can download and 3D print yourself if you would like to. But this is the kind of core element we're going to put together now which prints as one piece and then you fold it up to create the center of the Millennium Falcon and have a listen. So this is a very cool 3D model. You only have to glue a few parts together. But you can see here I'm doing pretty good progress. These bits just slide in and then they click into place. Now I did have issue here. As you can see, I had a real problem getting in, but then I realized that I hadn't clicked in the other bit properly. And as soon as I fixed that, there was no problem. And this bit fell off, but that's fine. We can just click it back in. And that is the core of our Millennium Falcon. It looks nothing like it right now, but it soon will. And all these pits go in based on letters. So there's actually letters on the inside of the pieces and you can just match them up and then click it all together. Now I am going to come back and glue this all up just to make it firmer and more permanent, but very cool. And major props to the original designer. A lot of thought has gone into this and it's very cool to build. Now, if you'd like to just listen to the clicks, I do have a no commentary version of this video as well. As you may not be a fan of me blabbing away. And subscribe and like if you're enjoying this content. Now it is starting to look like the Millennium Falcon and let's put the back on. So we've got two wedge sections here. And they click in very nice. And then we have the, what I would call the engine core. And that clicks in and we're almost getting to one complete Millennium Falcon. We've got the bottom to put in. And then effectively at this point, we have one entire Millennium Falcon. It's just the little details that we got to add on, but she is looking gorgeous. Now I'm not going to print it. I'm not going to paint anything on this. I'm going to leave it as is, but it, it to me just looks great. Now we've got the little details. So to start with, we've got our actual ramp that is articulated. And of course, this is where our heroes would get on and off the ship. And I thought I'd messed it up, but then it just happened to click in perfectly. And yeah, that's it. So beautiful. Next up was these little trim elements, which I had a lot of trouble getting in. I had to whack them away with a, a screwdriver, but we did get them in there and they look pretty good once, of course, they are in. And that adds those little details and covers up the seam, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the landing gear. They print like this. And then you just have to fold them over and glue them up. And then you've got yourself some landing gear and you've got the little skids that add on. Now, if you want, you can put it into flight configuration where you actually put in just blocks into these holes where the landing gear would go. And of course, it would look like it's going to be flying around. But I wanted to have it in landing configuration so that I could have it on display. And I'm fast forwarding through the actual installation of the landing gear here. These were the only bits I actually had to do some cleanup on to get them to fit in. I think as they were pretty flat and then folded over, there was kind of a seam in there that caused a little bit of issue. But here is our kind of sensor dish or comms array. And this is fully articulated, which is really cool. And it goes in here. Not the best, uh, considering everything else clicks together really, really nice. This was actually the most disappointing part when it comes to how it fits in. But other than that, pretty good. Then we've also got this part up here, which is our quad cannon. And this is the mount for it. And then you've got a teeny little quad cannon and you can print again, these parts and put them on the bottom too, but I'm not gonna bother. There's no point having something that weak down in the bottom of it. So I'm just gonna have it on the top. But here is the completed Millennium Falcon. And I'm extremely happy with this one. Most of it is snapped together, very satisfying. It's well worth a print. You can pick this up for free, link in the description below. And I would definitely recommend giving it a go. It is a wonderful 3D model and very, very enjoyable to make. And yeah, it looks great. I think just plain white here makes it look absolutely sensational. But of course, you could easily paint this up and make it look absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'll leave you some close-ups and let me know in the comments below what you think of this Millennium Falcon. 